Hello Internet! I'm Hazel and this is how I beat the legendary pet Bleak Claw in Tanan Jungle. You can fight this guy once per day for a bag of Fell Touch pet supplies, which can include one of four new pets and other assorted goodies. You can find Bleak Claw on a teeny little island here in Tanan Jungle. Currently there's no quest involved so just find him and beat him and you'll get your stuff. In the first slot, I've got my Nexus Whelpling with moves set to Tail Sweep, Mana Surge, and Arcane Storm. I have a power-focused breed of Nexus Whelpling with me. It may not be necessary, but it certainly does help to get Bleak Clawed down faster. If your Nexus Whelpling is not an attack breed, it wouldn't hurt to bring along one more pet with Mana Surge just in case, such as the Mini Mind Slayer, the Shimmering or Mana Wormling, the Arcane Eye, or the Blue Carp. For your remaining backup, bring tanky pets with survival abilities. I have the Son of Animus with Metal Fist, Siphon Animus, and Extra Plating. I also brought along Chi Chi with Alpha Strike, Tranquility, and Ethereal. Alright, so make sure you have your Nexus Whelpling in that top slot, and here we go. So your first move is going to be Arcane Storm. That will change the weather and do some damage to Bleak Claw and uh, do some damage to the backline pets too, which he just did to you. On your second turn, you can pass the turn or you can go for a Tail Sweep. He is going to lift off and there's nothing you can do about that, so uh, just go ahead and miss. And then on your third turn, you're going to go ahead and cast Mana Surge. So that Mana Surge, of course, does strong damage because, um, you know, he's a flying pet. Uh, does extra damage because of the whole Arcane Winds deal, and then does just a lot of damage because, you know, I have 341 attack. I have an attack-based Nexus Whelpling. Uh, there the Dragon Can Racial kicks in, and that is almost enough to take out Bleak Claw, but no worries, and one more Arcane Storm should finish him off. And because you're a Dragon Can type, you're taking reduced damage from his attack, so this works out pretty well. Perfect, no problems, and Tree Python comes out, can I do anything to save my family and, you know, preserve honor and... I mean, I can tail sweep him. I did a little bit of damage. <laughs> we have eight rounds left of the Fell Corruption debuff. My son of Animus is in terrible shape, mostly due to that whole Fell Corruption thing. Thankfully, Safe and Animus will help restore some of the health, not as much as I would like because of um, Tree Python taking 50% reduced damage. I follow that up with interrupt, er, interrupt plating. That's silly. Uh, extra plating to reduce the amount of damage I'm taking, and then of course Metal Fist will do some damage to him to kind of chip him down, and we're just trying to outlast that Fell Corruption debuff. So I get to come back because I'm a super fancy mechanical pet, and let's just face it, Son of Animus looks really, really cool. Maggot comes out, there's four rounds left, but thankfully I'm faster and I can get my Siphon Animus off, get a little bit of extra health, and he's all concerned about putting out dots, so uh, <laughs> a little bit more time to chip away at him. I never, I'm not a big fan of bringing mechanical pets on these because they do get kind of shredded by Fell Corruption, but darn if they don't do a good job against those beast pets. So Chi Chi is here to finish the job and save the day and stuff. Um, Ethereal is always handy for scooting you out of the way of burrows, just like this one. And it looks like Fell Corruption is now officially gone, so I am free to hang out, use Tranquility, Alpha Strike, um, and this just looks like a normal morning in the garden. Now you got a little birdie, you got a little worm. It's just, it's just, it's just beautiful. I want to make a cup of coffee and, you know, sit in the porch with like a newspaper, magazine, tablet. I don't know what people do these days. And there we go. We're done. Well, let's see what we get in this uh, bag of ours. So, Fell Touch, Pet Supplies, Pet Charm, Battle Pet Bandage, pretty standard stuff. And that's how I do it. Check out my channel and subscribe for guides to the other Tanan legendary pets and more. Let me know what you think and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.